bands invited to take part came from all over Britain and, for the first time, included a challenger from Holland. Each band played a half-hour programme of its own choice. We have highlights from the day and the winning performance in full. First on stage, the Leyland Daft Band from Lancashire with Richard Evans conducting. Recycled Mozart, part of the clarinet concerto via the film Out of Africa, now arranged for the Soli Deo Gloria Band from Holland by their conductor, Jan de Haan. The band we used to know as GUS or GUS are now the Rigid Containers Group Band. Here they go up the river, piloted by Bramwell Tovey.
The solo fight at the Band of the Year Festival is always a close-run thing. A contrasting cornet styles now. First, Alan Exley with the Yorkshire Imperial Band conducted by Ray Farr. David James and Grimethorpe Colliery coming up now with a sweet piece arranged and played by Alan Morrison.
Corey Band from South Wales, coupled up with Brazilian composer Villa Lobos, arranged and conducted by Denzel Stevens. Desmond Colliery Doughty are among the most successful bands of 1987, the Year of the Dragon, with Robert Watson in charge.
in part two the glittering prizes and more music band program in this contest has been spiced with some really smashing solo performances now there's a prize for the best solo in the competition it's worth 300 pounds and a trophy and it's been judged by Stan Hibbert, who's the Assistant General Secretary of the Musicians' Union. And I have in this envelope the solo prize winner. The solo prize, £300. Awarded by the Musicians' Union, Stan Hibbert's choice is the cornet player from band number six. And the winner... <laughs> Martin Winter. Martin Winter won with Zelda, a classic cornet solo played regularly in his day by the great Harry Mortimer. Harry was on hand in Douglas in case help was needed. Harry Mortimer is going to present the prizes to the bands, and I'm going to give you the 
first three in reverse order. The third prize is £1,000. And the third prize winners are, with a total of 225 points, third prize, the band that played number four, Grimethorpe. <laughs> The runners-up in the 1987 Band of the Year will collect £2,000. The second prize, with a total of 233 points. Second prize to the band which played number six, Desford Duck. We're almost there. The Band of the Year, the champions, will collect cheque for £3,250 and the magnificent trophy you see here. And the result is in this envelope. <laughs> the Band of the Year collected 235 points. The Granada Band of the Year 1987 is the band which played Number two. <laughs> the 1987 champions are a band reborn miraculously from the ashes of another revered name in banding, Cody's from Sandbach in Cheshire, the traditional home of the Mortimer family. Harry Mortimer must have been pleased to see the new band, the Britannia Building Society Foden Band, triumph here this year. He must also have admired the brilliant skills of the band's musical director, Howard Snell, who devised and arranged this programme from start to finish. a double helping of Irving Berlin. First, a familiar tune featuring a soloist from an unfamiliar part of the band, the back row of the cornets.
More Irving Berlin now with putting on the Ritz. It's an old record and the band seem to be having trouble with their wind-up gramophone. James Malloy was an Irish lawyer who much preferred writing songs. Love's old sweet song performed in a way Mr. Malloy could never have imagined.
Amid a plethora of waltzes, galops, and polkas, Johann Strauss wrote this Shardas, a wild Hungarian dance. Mendelssohn's Songs Without Words is an impression of a spinning wheel, the spinning song, here featuring another of the band soloists, Mark Olden. Thank you. 
Brass bands have long relished the prelude to Act Three of Wagner's Lohengrin. But this magnificent, stately procession to the Minster from Act Two was less well known to them until now. Thank you. 